today we will learn about integers we come across many situations in our daily life where there is a need to represent numbers with a positive or a negative sign for example the temperature of mumbai is usually above 0 degree centigrade and is represented with a positive sign before the number During winters, do you know that the temperature of Srinagar falls below 0 degrees centigrade? This has a negative sign before the number. Similarly, in a building, the floors above the ground are shown by a positive sign whereas the floors below the ground, like the basement, are shown by a negative sign. Numbers which have a positive sign before it are called positive numbers and those which have a negative sign before it are called negative numbers. A collection of positive numbers, negative numbers and zero together is known as integers. In this collection, just numbers like 1 2 3 etc without any sign are said to be positive integers although minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc which have a negative sign are said to be negative integers the value of negative integers is less than 0 whereas The value of positive integers is greater than 0. 0 is neither positive nor negative. Therefore, it cannot be represented by any sign. Now let's understand why integers are important. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Suppose a bird is flying at a height of 500 meters above sea level and a fish is at a depth of 500 meters below sea level. Can the distance between the bird and the fish with respect to land near the sea be represented mathematically? The height of the bird from the sea level is 500 meters and the depth of the fish from the sea level is 500 meters. But this is an incorrect way to represent their differences because both are situated in opposite directions. The bird is above the sea level whereas the fish is below the sea level. Since whole numbers are incapable of representing this kind of situation, we use integers. In this case, the height above sea level is represented with a positive sign as plus 500 meters and the depth below the sea level must have a negative sign such as minus 500 meters. It is now quite clear that plus 500 meters means 500 meters above the sea level and minus 500 means 500 meters below the sea level. Now let's consider some more examples of integers to understand it much better. Let's suppose Rahul and Ruchika start walking in opposite directions from a point say 0. Rahul walks 5 steps towards the right from 0. and ruchika walks 5 steps towards the left how would you represent their distance from the initial point 0 think about it you are right the steps towards the right are shown by a positive sign and those towards the left are shown with a negative sign therefore rahul has taken 5 steps and ruchika has taken minus 5 steps Now let's suppose Harsh came to a shop with rupees 30 but he bought things for rupees 35 he pays the shopkeeper rupees 30 and keeps a debt of rupees 5 how do you think the shopkeeper will make a note of this any ideas think about it okay the shopkeeper should write minus 5 in front of harsh's name where the negative sign represents the money harsh has yet to pay him 
Harsh owes him rupees five. Similarly, when money is deposited in a bank, it is represented by a positive sign, whereas withdrawal of money is represented by a negative sign. While we are discussing money, let's also talk about profit and loss. Suppose a businessman sells an article worth rupees twenty for rupees twenty-five. His profit is rupees five. Since his profit is rupees five, it is represented as plus five. But if he sells an article worth rupees twenty. For rupees fifteen, he incurs a loss of rupees five, which is represented as minus five. Today, we have learned about integers. In the next video, we will learn it in a better way with some examples.